everybody, Ralph Havens here, and just about to go live on Facebook, so I will be loading that up, and I'm super excited to get you this video today. Um, I usually wait until it's light outside, but I thought I could either write this down, or I could just go ahead and do it while it all came to me, so I decided to just go ahead and do it. So, um, so let me just load this up. It'll just take another few minutes, not minutes, a few moments. Okay. Today's voting day in the United States. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool, the stuff that's coming in today. And I'll, I'll um, tell you all about it in just a minute. So one more moment to get this set up on Facebook Live. It'll be on YouTube also. I've got a YouTube Beyond Limits um, Beyond Limits with Ralph Havens um, YouTube channel. You can look at that and subscribe to that. Please share that and let other people know about it so that we can get these sessions out to everybody. Um, so we'll be go starting in just a moment as you're loading up. Um, let me know if you're, that you're out there. Um, click like. Send me a heart over there on, on Facebook if you're on Facebook. And, um, and we'll be starting in just a minute. I'm gonna put, um, let's see, this in. Okay, here we go. All right, so welcome everybody. Ralph Havens here and um, it's election day in the United States today, so um, for all you Americans, let's get out there and vote, right? Um, so some st cool stuff came in today, and I wanted to uh, let you know even before the sun comes up out here by Mount Baker, Washington. And it's been showing up with a few um, <clears throat> people that I've been interacting with lately, and it reminded me of some things that happened in the past. Years ago, I had a client who... Um, the doctor said had the dreaded C, you know? It's the kind of C is like the thing um, people don't even um, want to talk about it. It's like, um, unless you're like got a little purple ribbon and it's like the cure for cancer or something, um, race is race for the cure and, and you know, st stuff like that. But <clears throat> when <clears throat> practitioners um, talk about it, it's, um, it's somehow taboo unless you're a medical doctor. There's actually reasons for that. They, um, they have a law somewhere back in the 1930s, I believe, 1939, that said you can't um, say that you you um, helped anybody heal or cured anything unless you're a medical doctor, right? That's kind of funny, but um, but I, I get it. It's like I don't think anybody really heals anybody else. I think we can help people get healthy and then their own bodies heal, whatever it is. So um, so that's a side note, but. Today, what, I, what I've been noticing is, um, it reminded me of something from the past. I had a client who had, had um, a diagnosis of cancer, and she was seeing me. She was also seeing medical doctors, and, um, and the doctors were really concerned, really concerned. And so um, they wanted her to go through all these um, procedures and um, treatments and all sorts of stuff. And I was taking a lot of... Um, one of the, the techniques that I use, matrix energetics. <clears throat> so, um, so one of the classes was scheduled over at the Coronado Hotel. It's a beautiful place in Coronado, um, California, just right by San Diego. And there's a big bridge that goes to it. And so my friend and client um, was gonna take the class with me. So five days taking this energetic kind of class. And every time I saw her, we, she was talking about this diagnosis and trying to get well. and. And then we would drive over the bridge for those five days and, and I would take her there and, and, um, and that's all she talked about. <clears throat> so one day at, at um, one of the lunch breakout sessions, there was a small, small group sessions in this class and I told the instructor um, what was going on and, um, and could she work on my, my friend. And the instructor looked at me and said, you've got to sit, go, go um, work on yourself and clear whatever this is really about. And instantly, instantly I knew that she was right, you know? 
I was like, yeah, I've been thinking about this. I can't stop thinking about this. The client's thinking about this. My friend's thinking about this. So, um, so I went and worked on myself using this matrix energetics stuff. And it was quite interesting because <clears throat> up until then, that's all my friend talked about. And what the our routine was, was I would go for a run after class and she would sit on a bench looking at the ocean and then I'd pick her up and we'd head back over into San Diego. <clears throat> and after this day, um, my friend didn't know I had done this, worked on myself. After this day, um, she was sitting on the bench and she said, you know, Ralph, everything is going to be okay. And she didn't talk about it again. And, and, um, and the doctors kept calling her for, to come in for sessions and stuff and to do all sorts of things. And she just didn't feel right about it. And she felt totally at peace. <clears throat> Pardon me. And she, um, she ended up, she didn't end up having any cancer. I don't know what happened you know was it a miracle did she ever have it you know there's all sorts of cases where things are missed in diagnoses and then somebody didn't have something um, or maybe it was a miracle maybe it went away <clears throat> but um but today something else was showing up and so I've had quite a few people recently that tell me you know they've been interacting with me um, my clients and um, they've been telling me that their friends are different. And so some of the clients have been having, and I consider my clients friends. And so they, they've been telling me that their friends who were very, very needy, very codependent, very um, clingy, taking a lot of their attention and um, very much um, talking about all their problems and just draining my um, friends, my clients, they're no longer acting like that. So I'm thinking of um, one, two, there's at least two, maybe three, just real recently, that their, um, their friends are in a much better place. Oh yeah, there's three. And um, one, somebody's brother is in a much better place. Also, somebody's friend isn't calling them in, in such need and is in much more peace. And another person um, who has a friend who has a, a significant, um, you know, the Alzheimer's dementia kind of thing going on, um, it was very needy, very clingy, lots of um, angst going on. She's at peace and having a great time. And I didn't work on those people. And my friends didn't really work on them. My clients didn't work on them, but they changed themselves. And so how do you do that, right? <clears throat> and how can that possibly work? And I think it's kind of like, you know, if there's a website with the URL, with the address for the website, and um, everybody's logged on to this website and they see a certain website, they see a certain reality, you know? And if there's somebody that um, can go into the code of the website, you know, a computer programmer, and change the website, change that thing, then everybody that logs on from that moment on sees a completely different reality, a different website. And the universe, there's a lot of stuff that's showing us that the universe is like that. They call it holographic, that you change one thing and everything else changes. And so you change yourself and everything else can change. And I don't know if Gandhi actually said it, but um, it's been attributed to him to be the change you want to see in the world. And on election day, that's a kind of cool idea because how much can you change with one vote? And how much can you, how much angst and, and anxiety and depression can you um, have listening to the news and getting all worked up and how can that um how much of that is going to make a change probably not so much right so so this morning i thought um it'd be cool to to tell you some of these stories because we have a friend right now that is acting a little funny um kind of seems to be cutting off ties with his friends and family and us and um and we're like wow what's going on with this guy and and um and so instead of trying to you fix it fix him um we can work on ourselves and so for this morning i'm going to do it in a matrix energetics way in an instant miracle way and what you can do if you want is to take your attention inward and notice what's happening in your body right now and just stay present to that feeling 
And by that, I mean, just kind of notice it without trying to change it. Just kind of, just kind of notice it. And, um, and I'm going to go ahead and put all of us here. And let's change this code that would be useful for you. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Now, when you think of um, Wi-Fi and computers and changing codes, 20, 30 years ago, that would have seemed preposterous, right? That would have seemed like science fiction, Star Trek. And now it's just become customary and usual, normal to think that, oh yeah, somebody can change a website and then we can all log on and have a different experience, a different reality. And it all seems so normal. But 20, 30 years ago, that would have been a crazy idea. Here we go. And hi, Katerina, I see you. All right. All right. So I'm going to check Facebook and just see if anybody's commenting about anything. Let's see if we can pull this up. And if anybody has any comments or what they've been noticing over there, I'd love to hear it. And on this day that's um, election day in the United States, if stuff is bugging you. Maybe this might be a way to help. So let's see. I'm not sure how many people are on. Maybe people will be watching later. But there's a few on. So, um, so welcome. And um, so good to see everybody. Please click like, share, um, go to YouTube, Beyond Limits with Ralph Havens, and um, click subscribe and um, share that so that we can get these out. I've decided to start doing these every, every day. And I'll let you know um, if I change that. But for now, um, have a great, great Tuesday. All right, everybody. Bye for now.